Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a text warp effect in Adobe Illustrator. So I've created a new document 900 pixels wide and 900 pixels high. And I'm going to select the type tool, left click on the artboard, and I'm going to type some text. For this tutorial, my text is Netflix. Does that look kind of familiar? <laughs> So I'm going to select the character panel at the top and we can adjust the font and the font weight. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Universe 67 Condensed Bold. And you can adjust any other options until you're happy. And we'll just scale this text up holding Shift. And there we go. Position that in the middle. Now the next step is to go ahead and warp our text itself. So let's select the text and go to Object, down to Envelope Distort, and select Make with Warp. And you'll see this dialog box pop up, and it's selected the default style of Arc. Now at the moment this is set to Bend Horizontally, and we can adjust that. So you'll see it curves up if we add plus 100, to the, even to the absolute extreme, and you can go minus 100. And it basically bends the other way, kind of like opposites. And you can change this to a vertical bend as well. And you'll see it creates an entirely different effect and you just drag it the other way. So you can go for something very extreme or very subtle. It depends what you're trying to create. You can also distort this horizontally and vertically. So you can see it goes one way and it goes the other way. And we can also adjust the vertical distortion. So we can really skew this text out of shape and you can really get quite creative and create some awesome effects. And while there are many styles, I'm not going to go through all of these. That's part of the fun. So you definitely want to check this out on your own and just explore, get crazy and creative. But there's lots there to choose from and all of them can be customized with the horizontal and vertical bend and the distortion effects as well. So let's set this all back to zero. So that applies no effects to our text. And for this tutorial, we're going to create quite a hopefully recognizable logo. So let's select arc lower. And we've got the preview box selected. Make sure that horizontal is selected. If we select vertical, it does something a little bit different and we don't really want that. So we'll go with horizontal as the bend. And we'll start increasing this. Now at the moment, this is drooping down. That's not quite what we want. So let's drag this the other way. Okay, that's a little bit more like it, but we're going to go for something very subtle. So I think about minus 10, there's a nice subtle curve. Now when you're happy, you can click OK and it will apply your envelope effect in the appearance panel. So it will be listed. So if you go into outline mode, that's command or control Y on the keyboard, you'll be able to see the envelope shape itself. And this text is still actually editable. So we can double click this to go in and we can edit our text. So we could add, let's say an F and then our text will be edited and you can change the font and all the other properties as we did in the beginning. You can come out by going here and then just exit isolation mode and you'll come back to the main document. You can also select the text and toggle here between edit envelope and edit contents. So that's another way to go in and edit the text. And then when we want to go back and edit the envelope, just click up here. And again, you've got all these options along the top. So the style, the horizontal or vertical bend that you can adjust here with the slider. And then the horizontal and vertical distortion. And this little icon here, you get some additional envelope options that you can have fun with and play around with. So what we can do is to be able to change the color of our text, we need to be able to edit the contents itself. So we can double click that or we can go up here, edit contents, and you'll see that now we have a black fill color. And with the text selected, we can double click a swatch, select preview and global and adjust the color as we like. I'm not going to change it too much. And click OK. And then we can come back to edit envelope. And we've then got these options where we can then go and adjust our warp even further if we like. Now, once you're happy, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this up here and then hold Alt and Shift and drag down to create a copy. 
So once you're happy with your warp and you're totally finished, go to object, down to expand, and leave object and fill selected and click OK. And now if you go into outline mode, remember that's command or control Y. It's not showing us an envelope distort effect anymore, but we have our finalized text. Now this is always a good thing to do because if you are doing any kind of warping effects on text, and for example, you are exporting something as an SVG, a scalable vector graphic for a developer, if they were to then use that and it had text effects applied within the SVG file, it may not render correctly and there may be some issues. And that's just one of many, many issues. So when you've finished a design or a logo that uses a warp or some live editable text, it's always a good idea, in my opinion, to expand your text and just have it so this is exactly how it is. And when you select it in the appearance panel, there's nothing listed, there's no effects or anything applied. So we've got our text. What I'm going to do actually, I'm just going to create another copy by holding Alt and Shift. And I'm just going to skew this a little bit. Now normally I wouldn't say skew text, but we can do this a little bit and hopefully still get away with it. So if we hold down the Alt key and we'll just drag in from the right. Remember holding Alt scales towards the center. So it's going to apply this effect on both sides. And we can just do that a little bit more. So you can see that the effect we're trying to create. And you can adjust this until you're happy. And then we'll then scale that up and just select this icon at the top, make sure we're aligning to the artboard, and then align this both horizontally and vertically. And there we go, we've created a text warp effect in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care, and I'll see you next time.